everyone, it's Julia. Welcome to my channel. I completed this little project in my last video. It's this little embellishment kit with stamped ribbon. It says um, Free Spirit on it. It has a little button dangle uh, and I did a hand stamped card and then some embellishments or some, some appliques with a heat and bond on the back. Both some feathers and some arrows. And I wanted to share with you a, a couple projects that I completed using this little kit. The first, the first project I did not film, but I will link a video that I how how I create these. They are little notebook covers. Inside is a five by seven uh, uh, composition book. These are called the junior composition books, and you can pick these up at office supply stores. Actually, I got these at Walmart. They just slide under a little flap so they can easily be removed and also replaced if you fill one up. But on the cover of, of this little notebook cover, I did use the, some of the embellishments in the kit. I've got part of the little tape that says Free Spirit. I used one of the feather appliques and just put it on with free motion stitching. And then just decorated the little the little cover. I love doing these fabric collages and just creating with scraps and patches. This has some stamping on it and also some stenciling on it. And the other one that I did the same way, the same thing, just a different design. Again, using some of the ribbon and a couple of the appliques. I actually hung a little dangle off of a piece of lace. And then on the inside, I did a band and then just slipped the little tag right in there. So a couple little options. These make wonderful gifts. They're a great size. They're a five by seven. And again, that video will be linked up in the iCards and I'll also put it down below for you. But the project that I actually completed and filmed for you is this denim bag. This is made from a thrifted pair of, of denim jeans. You can use the front pocket and also the back pocket. It is fully lined and closes with a magnetic snap and has a strap that can be worn across body. So let's get started. This is a very large sized pair of jeans and so I'm only going to be using half of it. I am cutting, I'm going to draw a line here um, on the left side of the fly and I do give myself about a half an inch for my seam allowance so I don't have to sew through that that fly at all and then just going right going across about an inch below the the crotch or excuse me above the crotch a little bit below the fly and then just going to be cutting out on my line And then all the way up through that waistband. And again, allowing about a half an inch on the left side of the fly there. And I just cut through the front of the jean and I'm going to be cutting through the back. And when I get to that back seam, I am cutting through the seam. And then again, allowing about a half an inch on the left side of that seam for my seam allowance and then cutting right through that through that waistband. Now I've got my size, my little my little jean. Thought at this point I should have maybe left it a little bit longer, but it did turn out to be a nice size. I just opened it up so that I can create on it and, and lay out lay out my design the way I want it. Just taking some of the pieces out of this embellishment kit. I know I wanted to add some of the feathers and some of the arrows and also a little bit of that ribbon. I did, did go through my stash and picked out some fabric for the lining and also for some of the patches. And then this is the fun part. I'm just going to be laying things out and changing my mind and then adding things and that's the way it just works is you just never know what it, what you're going to end up with. Decided I want a piece of this ribbon on the top of my pocket. 
I'm trying to figure out my lighting. If things are so bright, I'm going to have to do some more work on that. And I decided I think I'm going to turn that one lamp off. I'm peeling the backs of my, or peeling off that heat and bond light on the back of those feathers and, and those arrows. I know I want to put a little bit of the lining fabric also inside this pocket. It just gives it a it gives a nice pop of color there. I'm just going to cut that piece down, and I'm going to just fold under the raw edges on that. The raw edges on the top, anyway. On the right hand side was the selvage, and I'm just going to leave that um, without folding it under. Yeah, that one I decided was just selvage, so I'm just going to leave that one. I'm just going to tuck that in. This will all be all be stitched down. I thought that I wanted to add a little bit of that trim onto that pocket edge, but then I changed my mind completely on that. I decided I'm going to just stick it through the belt loops instead. I'm laying out the design on the front of my purse. Just found a piece of teal fabric that I thought um, worked well. I'm going to be using one of those feathers and one of the arrows. And then decided I'm just going to use um, one section of that ribbon that says free spirit. Once I have my design the way I want it, I'm going to just take my iron and just iron everything into place. All those pieces with that iron, that heat and bond light on the back will be adhered now, ready for my sewing machine. I also wanted to attach some of these, like the ribbon doesn't have any of that heat and bond on the back, and so I'm going to be using my Roxanne's um, basting glue. I just love this glue. It just works so well. Um, it's just a temporary glue and it doesn't gum your sewing machine up at all. Just going to get that into place. And then adding that glue to some of the other pieces. It's all ready for the sewing machine now, and I'm going to be attaching this with free motion stitching. I do have black thread on. I have my free motion foot on, and my feed dogs are dropped. My stitch length is at zero, and I'm just going to be doing some outlining on this. Uh, for this little skinny part of the arrow, I decided just to go back and forth. Going all the way down the center of that that arrow and then I'm going to go back and draw in some of the the detail. Same with the feather. I'm going to outline it first. And I'm not being real particular with it. If it gets off a little bit, you're going to be just fine. Now, I do I making sure not to catch that pocket. I do have that free um hanging pocket underneath there and I'm just scooting that out of the way. Going back up into the center of this feather to add that vein and then just doing some detail on that. We'll be finishing that whole patch I'm doing a couple little squiggle lines just for fun and also just to make it look like it's not supposed to be perfect. And then adding a black outline 
to this little ribbon. And here's what it looked like. I did add a little decorative stitch to that as well. And then with my straight stitch, I just outlined in cream colored thread that pocket insert. Just tacked it on the bottom. And I also just tacked the very top of this ribbon. I didn't want to sew through the pocket, so I did the top and the sides of it. So the bottom is loose. And I haven't done anything to that top yet. I'm just going to make sure those are out of the way when I close this up. Just matching those those side seams. I'm going to be sticking some clips on there, some of my wonder clips. Now this has got some bulk to it um, and I'm just going to be walking my sewing machine. I, I do show it, but I'm going to be walking my sewing machine over this waistband. That is the bulk of it. And then it goes really quite quite easily for the rest of this. You can see I'm right on the edge. I have my quarter inch foot on. Another foot that works really well for this is um, just a, your zipper foot. You're, you're able to get pretty close to this seam with a zipper foot. And again, I'm just really going slow and I'm just kind of walking my sewing machine just by turning my wheel. And it's just this one little spot here that has a lot of bulk, many layers of denim I'm sewing through right now. And the rest of this is going to go really quickly. I am taking a scant half an inch. I think I'll try to leave a half an inch seam allowance. But I'm getting just as, as close as I can. I'm just trying to get the seam sewn basically because it is, it is one of those, those tricky ones. Right here too, I'm going over a bulky seam. And then it's it's just smooth sailing from here on out. I've got my bag turned so the right sides are out. Just getting those pockets all down nice and neat. And picking out my lining fabric. Now to do the lining on this, I I don't really have any dimensions to give you. I just because every every person, every pair of jeans is, is a different size. But I do I have two layers here. And this happens to be a batik fabric, and so it's the same on the front and the back, so it's a little bit confusing. But I'm just laying my purse down getting that little uh, ribbon out of the way there so I don't cut through it. And I am going to allow a half an inch all the way around and then uh, leaving an inch on the top. So I have an inch on the top of my lining and then a half an inch seam allowance all the way around. Now I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and I'm just going to be stitching all the way around this, leaving the top open. My lining is sewn and now I'm turning under that one inch top that we, that we left that one inch seam allowance on the top. Just folding that over and just ironing that. And this whole piece now just slides right into the, our purse. Just going to be matching the side seams and smoothing everything out. And then I'm just going to pin this into place. This is stitched right at the very top of the bag. And I want to just give you a hint if any of you are wanting to make one of these. You do not want your lining to be too small. In fact, I usually cut my lining just a tad bigger. Um, so that, and, and then I'll give it a little, a, a little tuck in that lining. It's much easier to, to tuck the lining than to have the lining too small and having to tuck that denim. You just, it's just almost impossible. 
And so I do end up with just a little bit of a tuck on this lining, but you can't you can't even see it once it's all sewn. I'm just going to edge stitch this shut. And then I also decided to add a little arrow to the front there, just to let you know. I did add that before I put that lining in. I just thought it needed something extra. I'm going to be adding some magnetic snaps. And to do that, I just put it in the middle, take my little market, take my seam ripper, and do the poking or the cutting, and then just poking that first part of that snap through. The washer is going to be on the top. Um, and it does, it's going to show, and so I'll show you how I cover that up in a little bit. I do have to use a, a, my pliers to pinch those. It's, they're really quite strong. And then the front part is, of the snap is on. To get that back on, to get it and to get it in the right place, I just attach the other part of that magnetic snap. And then I'm able just to line it up and then just to mark right where those prongs are. It's just a really easy way to get it in the right place. Again, using my seam ripper. And then poking that other part of that snap through adding the washer, and then just bending those prongs down. Now to cover up that washer, I'm just using a piece of cork, and this is the fabric cork that has that knit back on it. I love the look of this, and it doesn't fray, and it just looks cool on denim bags. And I just attach that with a little bit of, of my fabric tack glue. And it's going to cover those washers, both in the front and the back. Now to attach that ribbon, I'm just going to be folding over the ends and, and stitching that in place. And then I just stitched periodically, um, and I stitched um, vertically. I did not stitch the edges of it. I just stitched and tacked it vertically, um, just between each of the words or each of the phrases. And then for the strap, I had already made this a while back. It's been in my, it's just been in my stash for a long time. And it was a belt. And I just attached that belt. It's long enough to wear cross body. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I did leave some um, pictures at the end here so you can take a look at some, some of the detail on it. I really, it just really turned out fun. And here are some of the journals as well. Thank you so much, everyone who's joined me. I hope you enjoyed this project, and I hope you have a chance to create this week. Bye for now.